Talking about return on investment for training your employees, there are a couple of things that you need to consider. First off, a typical raise of a dollar an hour for a 40 hour a week employee translates out to about 2,080 hours a year in 2,080 dollars a year. Um, you could take that, turn that raise money into training and not only get a return on investment to the company in the enhanced skills from the employee and the reduced downtime and the improved availability, overall better quality in the cross training benefits that you get when they work with their peers, but also you have increased that employee's long-term earning capacity way beyond the initial dollar an hour for one year investment that's made in training. When you consider also that a recent study shows that it costs about $4,100 to onboard a new employee. Um, if you have encouraged that individual to stay with the company longer and you don't have to hire a replacement because they left, that's additional return on that training investment. So it's very important to consider everything for you, that you're doing for your employees. It's important to consider how the training and education benefits the company long term. And while you won't be able to sit down with a spreadsheet and say, I'm going to get back X number of dollars per month for the next however many months in the foreseeable future, there are plenty of intangible returns on that investment. And when the employees stay longer, sometimes they're going to move up inside of your organization or they'll move up inside of your company. If they move up inside the company, you have retained that onboarding expense and that growth is fantastic for the individual and fantastic for the organization. So return on investment is very real uh, when it comes to training and development and it's something that you should seriously consider.